What up with you guys? New it is your boy John Mike. Welcome back to John Mike's truck. Uh, today I'm gonna be doing a quick kind of three month, uh, well it's almost been four months now, follow up on my um, Tesla style screen that I put in my F-150 uh, and I want to show you guys this. So first off I'll say that I absolutely love this thing. Uh, I think it is one of the coolest uh additions uh to my truck it this is a 2010 f-150 platinum but when i put this in uh it instantly makes me feel like i'm in a newer truck it doesn't i'm not saying this takes me to 2022 but it definitely gives me at least an extra you know four or five years to it i feel more like i'm in a 2015 2016 generation truck feels a little bit more technologically you know and just aesthetically more, um, you know, up to date versus a 12 year old truck. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it's really, really cool. The touchscreen is very, very, very responsive. Uh, I haven't had any issues with lag on the screen or anything like that uh, after having it for three, um, three, almost four months now. Jumping in and out of apps is pretty quick and pretty responsive uh, going to different things. You can assign these top buttons to kind of do whatever you would like for them to do. You can you see your backup cam, uh, which uh, I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, but you can do, you know, you can sign these buttons up here at the top row to pretty much do whatever you want. I'm running all stock. I'm not running uh, any special uh, software. I haven't done any update upgrades to it or anything like that. I know there's some third party uh, launchers and things that you can get, uh, but I really don't um don't use that i uh, don't haven't done anything the main reason i got this in what i really wanted out of this was this carplay this was the main thing that i really wanted and having it on such a big screen and it's, it's kind of lagging here i think it's because i'm recording my video and it's connected to my phone wirelessly via bluetooth uh because without it normally the normal there's no lag with it so i think it has something to do with the fact that i'm recording this video uh as well uh, but it will connect to it wirelessly so you do get wireless bluetooth i do have a excuse the junkie truck i know all your trunks is junky too so don't talk about mine um i do have a wired usb that's connected uh to do that uh i had it came with a microphone uh, the guy who installed it for me he put the the actual microphone there um which gives me pretty good uh you know pretty good you know uh, when I'm talking and stuff does pretty well with that, but CarPlay does really, really well. Uh, the sound system does change. It does change uh, the way it sounds. Uh, I can. I, it was an immediate difference uh, in the sound. Uh, not necessarily bad, uh, but it's, it wasn't as fine tuned. I will say. So if sound is a big thing for you, um, you know, it you, it's not going to be the same as because I have the Sony. This is the platinum, so it has the Sony tuned uh, system with the the subwoofer that sits under the seat. You know what I'm saying? So um, it sounded amazing before and it still sounds great uh but i had to go in and do some tuning so it comes with like a little dsp app that gives you the uh you know the eq uh 16 band eq and typically i really all i had to do was just kind of bump my lows up a little bit play the song that i was familiar with that i used to listen to in here all the time uh but you can kind of play with that as well and do all of that that's that's a built-in app and it does you know it does wonder but i the sound is still an eight out of ten in my opinion um there is this weird kind of hissing noise that it did introduce uh into um into it uh into the sound it's like this kind of sound that i hear every now and again sometimes when uh when the music is not playing maybe if uh right before it announces a turn by turn or something like that i get that noise so you're gonna have some sound issues uh with that you know in, the, in those terms so if those are deal breakers then you might not want to mess with your uh your finely tuned sound but for me it was all about um it was all about uh car play this was the main uh, sort of thing for me was CarPlay uh, and being able to do this and make this happen or what have you. So uh, I have the CarPlay built in and um, 
and it does everything all of the maps all of the apps and stuff like that work great uh i have some other built-in apps that i use you know stuff that you know you can play angry birds on here i got my cameras for my house and uh i got um Chick-fil-A, of course, I'm a Chick-fil-A advocate, so I have a lot of Chick-fil-A stuff. Uh, I don't check my email, so these some of these were built-in apps, but I got the weather, my doorbell ring, the Play Store, and YouTube, and those are pretty much the only uh, apps I really, really use, third-party apps that I use uh, on here, and it's it's uh, fairly solid. So now on to the cons and stuff that deal with this. So there are a handful of cons that come along with this thing. Um, that I've experienced over the last three or four months that really just kind of, they're just really kind of just annoying more so than, uh, than they are, um, uh, you know, like deal breakers for me. I'm not going to pull this thing out of the dashboard for the few little bugs that it gives me, but it is an Android radio. It's an Android boy based system and it's Android nine. It comes with out the box. I think some of them come with 10. Uh, so there are some bugs and stuff that have to do with that. I haven't done any updates on it. I could do some kind of update probably and fix all of the bugs and it'd probably be perfect, but uh, I haven't done any mods or any upgrades to it. But as is uh, one of the main bugs that I have a lot of times is that there is no recall, like a lot of times with uh, some of the different, um, um, you know, different settings, namely Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. All right. Now it will return to whatever state that it had before when you cut it off. Like, you know, the apps will still be open in the background. Whatever last apps that you used will be open and you can jump in and jump back to them. It doesn't clear that. But Wi-Fi and uh, Bluetooth is very inconsistent, in my opinion, from my experience. Like when I cut the car off and I cut it back on, sometimes uh, Bluetooth connects automatically. You know what I mean? No issues. It just connects. And then there's these off chances and off times that Bluetooth just does not connect. And I'm having to go into my settings and press the connect button and it's not connecting. It's not connecting. So that, and of course I got the wireless airplay that works over Bluetooth. So in those situations when it just won't connect, I just reach down here and grab my, my wire, you know, and plug it up and I just keep moving. You know what I mean? Uh, my hotspot, the Wi-Fi, uh, just for whatever reason, even if I turn it on, uh, and it automatically turns off. And then sometimes it's just on and I don't have any, I don't have any problems connecting with um, my uh, hotspot from my iPhone. I don't know if that's an iPhone to Android issue. You know what I mean? Maybe if you're Android to Android, you won't have any issues uh, with your personal hotspot. But me personally, um, uh, I have issues with the personal hotspot connecting. One, the Wi-Fi is kind of iffy in connecting. Uh, to that, I haven't tried connecting it to a personal, uh, another like a like a you know my house Wi-Fi or anything like that. I haven't tried that actually to to verify if the if it's just an issue with the Wi-Fi and if it's not just an issue with my personal hotspot. It could just be my hotspot, and you know it could just be iPhone to Android not wanting to play well with each other. But either way, um, the the connection on it is just spotty. Uh, sometimes, not all the time, I'm going to, I'm going to give it about an 85% accuracy rate that things just connect up and work all the time. No problem, no issues, but there's just those times when it just won't connect and you just like, ah, and it just pisses you off. And then, uh, there are times where the, the hotspot just disconnects randomly. So there are times where I've had times where I just, you know, it just can disc the Wi the Wi-Fi, the hotspot just disconnects every two or three minutes, you know, like maybe I'm, you know, you shouldn't be doing this. I'm not going to advocate that you do this, but I like to watch if I'm using my hotspot. Most of the time I'm using it because I'm watching a YouTube video, um, maybe while I'm, you know, while I'm driving or on a long road, most of the time podcast stuff that I listen to that's not on a podcast app, long form content while I'm driving, while I'm taking a trip. Uh, so there are times where it just, it just, just falls apart, you know, every three to five minutes. Then there's times where I've been on long trips for like eight hours of driving on the, on the highway, heading somewhere. And I'm just, you know, I want to pop up and catch up on some of my YouTubers, you know, I'm listening. I'm, you know, I'm not looking at it. I'm not focusing on it. I, I, I drive as safe as possible. Um, says the guy that's watching YouTube while he's driving. You do it too. Don't act like you don't. Let me know down in the comments. I'm pretty sure you do. Uh, but it's, um, 
it works. It, it just works flawlessly. There are times I've been on these long trips and I'm and it never drops out. So it's just a handful of little software ish bugs that um, that happen from time to time. But solid wise, it's worked fine. When I come in, it boots up fast. Again, the um, the backup camera uh, works fine. This is the this is the stock backup camera that came with the with my truck and it just plug it just plugged in i didn't have to you know use a third party uh backup camera uh it just plugged up you know straight to my built-in backup camera and it's got a it's got inputs for two cameras so i've been thinking about putting a front camera uh on and using that that front camera um you know for the front of my truck i've been thinking about trying to investigate into that but uh i don't you, you know you don't need anything else if you've got a backup camera it will wire in now what i will say in regards to this i don't know if it's the type of screen this is or whatever but the camera is not as clear as it was when it was plugged up to my uh oem unit uh that was um that i had it's just not as clear especially at nighttime at nighttime when there's no light for whatever reason it's just difficult to see bagging up, um, you know, when you first, now when you pull the, you know, the thing in reverse and the backup lights come on, it gives you some light to kind of see. But uh, I didn't have to do that when I had my OEM unit. Like it didn't, I didn't have to back up. Uh, I didn't have to worry about it nighttime, not being able to, you know, as soon as it comes on, being able to see what's back there or whatever. So that's the thing. Uh, it's not as clear as it was with the uh with the oem unit so that's something to take in, into account uh but other than that it's a uh it's a it's a decent you know work it works fine even if you know when the unit's booting up there's times where i got in the truck and i cut it on i cut the truck on and the, the whole system is booting up um as soon as you boot up if i pull into reverse it's even with the truck even if it's still in a boot state it's going to automatically while it's still booting up give me the backup camera so you don't have to wait for the system to boot up in order to get to see your backup camera uh and the boot up time is really fast it's like 10 seconds it's not anything worth you know crying over or anything like that so that's it that's all i kind of you know wanted to kind of jump in and share with you guys real quick about this uh particular model uh it works great uh, I have no, I have minimal complaints with it. You know, it's just a few software things, but I haven't had any major issues with this and owning it for like four months. I'll do another check-in with you guys, maybe in another four or five months, just to kind of let you know, maybe around a year, if it's still, you know, if I'm still satisfied with it. But as of right now, I'm still satisfied with it. I, I would get totally buy it again. I love the aesthetic. I love the, you know, the, when people get in the truck and they look in and they see this screen, they're like, wow, what's that? You know, it's that, it's that point that I really love about it. And I love the tech and I love, then the main thing for me, like I stated before, it's what I use 90% of the time. And that is uh, CarPlay. This is what my screen stays on 90% of the time when I'm using it. Uh, so, you know, this is a great experience. It has been a great experience for me. Uh, connects with my iPhone just, just fine wirelessly or wired. So, um, that's that's all i want to say uh if you got some specific questions about this unit uh just type them down in the comments i'll be glad to answer uh anything that i might have left off i'll answer it down in the comments and if there are um uh you know anything else if you're interested in the specific unit there's a link down to it in the description of the video hit that and it'll take you to this specific model that i have if if you if you don't if it's not for your truck if you have a newer truck or older truck or a different vehicle altogether, feel free to um uh just google your truck or your car your vehicle's name and the word tesla screen and you're probably going to find something uh similar to this but uh another thing that i want to cover real quick is the ac it works just fine all of my eight ac stuff works it, it just pulls up like this and i can control everything right there my heated seats and all of that i got controls for all of that stuff uh it all works just fine uh and you know i have no issues with that but that's it. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. That's all I got. I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Uh, hit the subscribe button and all those things like that. I got some more truck content coming. I'll talk to you guys on the next one. I'm out. Holla at your boy.